Minnesota did very well last night. It's a rivalry series. The puck's down here, and we're uh, playing more North Dakota versus Gophers. Oh, a good chance right off the jump. Jaden Perron feeding it over to Reese Gaber. Those two getting the start tonight as you see the lines going across the top of your screen. Two changes for UND in the lineup this evening. Nate Benoit and Griffin Ness draw in. And now a chance the other way. Bryce Brodzinski feeding it across. Good stuff by Person. Follow up chance by oh. Nelson. Batted up by Berg. Yeah, I'm not sure if Berg stopped a, a, a goal right there by batting that out of the air, but for action back and forth right away. Brodzinski again. His shot goes high. Bryce Brodzinski scoring the empty netter last night. This is for the Gophers right here. A puck goes in. A good job getting that puck over and a big save on Rhett Pitlick. It it poked that puck out in front as well. And the rebound just unable to get to it was Jackson Nelson. Lost it in his skates. Griffin Ness, his season debut tonight up to Carson Albrecht. Strinden waiting. Big Strinden. Stopped by close. The chance was there on the doorstep. Icing the call here. Look at some of these chances, Jake. Ah, just a good job right here. It's a big save again. Close was so good last night. Here come the Gophers now. Their fourth line out there. Good save by Person. A scramble in front. Jimmy Clark had the attempt. Oh. Another stop. John Middleset had the opportunity in the slot. That puck gets knocked off his stick. Or uh, the, the stick loses. But here's Pearson. Look at this. Watch this puck pop right out. Middlestat just fires that. A good job just in order to beat Justin Close, because if he's seeing it, he's stopping it. Over 140 minutes now, and that one nearly goes through to stop that shutout streak. A deflection in front off the centering feed. Middle set, got the puck knocked away by Berg. Five seconds to go. McLaughlin, it got too close. He made the follow-up save on Gaber, and the period will expire. His squad has 124 left on the Red Pit Lick penalty to try and break the ice here in game number two and score their first goal of this weekend. 32 seconds on the penalty. Blake on the perimeter. Gaber deflected off the post. The follow-up chance knocked aside. Back out to neutral once again. Pike over to Gaber. Reese Gaber with a head of steam and a step on middle stat. He'll try the wrap. Perron was waiting. It'll come to Berg. Up to Pike. He'll fire and find the back of the net. North Dakota on the board. Six minutes in to period number two. It was Perron with the telling touch. One nothing UND. Again, I talked about North Dakota putting some shifts together here. It's Gaber does a good job using his speed. He tries to throw that in front, but a good job right here. Just get to the front of the net. Good job by Pike. He walks that, cuts to the middle, and he gets that thing right through. And in front, there's going to be a redirect by Perron, which you thought it was going to be hard to beat Justin Close. I know Close had pointed at something. Right here, take that shot. You got people in front. Or just drive in and find a man. What a stop by Close. Denying Berg from tight quarters. It can be one that's not called. Look at Blake right here. This is clearly a hook. As you get your stick right in front on him, Carl Fish gets slips right by, Blake does, and he still manages to get. This Golden Gopher team has played admirably on the road despite being down a couple of their top returners from a season ago. This is Cameron Berg now, taken over. Over to James in the slot, shot wide. Gaber back on it. His centering pass will drift all the way through neutral. Jake Livinovich there, the freshman from Phoenix. He'll carry it through. Livinovich on the backhand, and this trickles across! Jake Livinovich! First career strike, and it's 2 nothing. He has to put the brakes on and cut into the line just a little bit into the uh, middle of the ice because his players are still offside. A great job allowing them to get back so they can tag up. And right here, you catch a goaltender in between the reverse VH of going down a hard position. He doesn't get those legs sealed, and for some hop, the ice just not to touch that. Yeah, that was Pitlick, the junior, who was closest to it. And now this is Rhett Pitlick in on goal. Another stop by Person. They've been given up in these early games. Another one in clean here. Good job tracking back. Blake 
Oh, just needed a touch. Yeah, that was the one opportunity where it was open. Berg again on the doorstep, denied by Close. And now Huglin one-on-one -on -one with Pike the other way. Huglin short-handed. Nelson had the open net. Pike was there to tie him up. More now. Rebound bounces back to Cal Thomas. Chesley wide redirected in. Jackson Nelson. Minnesota on the board and the lead down to one. North Dakota hemmed into their zone and they do a good job utilizing their points. I've been seeing sometimes you got to simplify things. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You get the puck right up top, you go D to D, you just find the lane to get that through. You got a couple players in front. Pike across to Blake. He'll build up ahead of steam on this right flank. Across to McLaughlin. Close able to come across. Close has been real good as a penalty killer. It's made him oh. When they came out of that timeout, look oh, at here, two on one. Turnover now as Blake takes over. Oh, and McLaughlin, another tremendous stop from Justin Close. Windling for smaller goaltenders. The anticipation, this guy has got such good hockey moxie for a goaltender. He just reads and knows where plays are going to anticipate. Watch Snodgrew. 81's who you're keying in on if you're North Dakota. They're trying to find him. Moore will take the shot. Nelson, the follow-up, knocked aside by Person. Big check in the corner by Albrecht. Juglin now gets it to Snuggerud. Tied up there.